Hello my lovelies. I'm on my own today. Well, really since last night. So Paul and Max went to Silverstone for some Japanese car meet. It's a huge event where everybody brings their Japanese cars. So Paul and Max took their respective Nissans and gone there last night, stayed in a hotel. Uh, so today I'm on my own all day. So I am taking Louis for a long walk by myself. Do you know, I miss the days when they all worked in our office. I mean, Max goes to the office now three times a week, but Paul has a, a home working contract anyway, so he's always at home, but he used to travel much more. How much I can get done when they are not here is beyond belief. So it is two o'clock in the afternoon. I've done so much today. Where are you? I've vacuumed everywhere. I've mopped my floors. I've reorganized a couple of cupboards. I've tidied up, done all my laundry. And look, it's only two o'clock. I can never get that much done when they are at home. Where are you, Louis? Oh, I missed him. So, yeah, it's been nice. It's nice to be on my own now and again when you're stuck with them too for 24 seven. But it is a bit sad going out for a walk by yourself. I forgot to show you, I bought a new rug um, for my living room. I will show you when I get back home. I already had one like that. Well, I have one like that, but smaller, but it's in my bedroom. So when I get home, I will show it to you. I need to put Louis on a lid now because we need to cross the road. So Louis just managed to get in the mud when I was on the phone to Paul. Paul just called me and I was distracted. And here is Louis. Look at him. He's only just been groomed. Come on, let's go in the big lake. Did you see what he just did? He's so filthy and I couldn't get him to go into this pond to wash off. So I think I will have to go back different way by the nice river so he can go in a river and clean himself because <laughs> he's just covered in mud. I am so annoyed with myself that I didn't put him on a lead. I forgot that that dirty water is there and Paul happened to come in the most unfortunate time, like they do. <laughs> oh, he's looking for more mud. Come here. We are actually gonna go this way. Come on, Louis, here, this way. I'm going to go different way because there is more mud there. Come on, this way, this way. Do you want to go a bit on the grass? Come on then. Right, let me update you on my on my diet. So I've been doing really well without bread for about two weeks. And then at the weekend, 
we went to see our friends. We had a takeaway and we had some drinks. And the next day I had a bit of a hangover. And you know, when you feel like this, you just want to eat rubbish. And I found in my cupboard, you know, these um, bread rolls that are just like partially baked. So you bake them and they were running out of date. So I had to cook them. So <laughs> I cooked all four of them. They were only little and I ate all four of them with different cold meats, with cheese. And that was my dinner. So basically I just ate bread all day. Uh, that was yesterday because Paul was going away with Max. So I didn't have to cook dinner for them. I couldn't be bothered to cook myself dinner. So that's what I ate. And today I felt so bad and sluggish. It just proves that all these simple carbs are evil. But I'm back on track today. I didn't have any bread today, so I'm being good again. Like I said to you before, if I really fancy to have it at the weekend, I will. I am having my hair done this week because the roots are quite big now and I'm still thinking about having it cut to this not inverted bob but like more angled so it'd be quite short at the back but again i'm just thinking i want to be able to put my hair up because i wear my hair up a lot and if i can't put my hair up i have to make sure that it's always nicely styled and blow dried and i don't know if i can be bothered but you will still see another video i think next week um, with my roots because I've only just recorded it so if you're confused about that <laughs> right let's see if you will go in this river come on quick go away come on Go no and try to clean yourself off. Not deep enough. Go. Go, go, go. You need to go deeper than that. Clean your bum. Well, that's not good enough. I will have to still put you in the bath. definitely not good enough and we will have to wash you off when we get home which I'm not happy about right I'm going home now been here for a while but Paul just called me again he's coming home honestly that man can't be without me I, I thought he would be there all day but he said no I'm bored now I've seen all the cars, I'm coming home. So, Louis will be so happy. Louis, honestly, you know, I told you he's got this anxiety with in a car, but also if Paul goes somewhere. In a day, he is fine because he knows that Paul sometimes pops in and he, <laughs> we always tell him that he's going to supermarket and he understands that. But if Paul is not there in the evening, my God, had an awful night's sleep because he kept jumping off the bed, running downstairs, barking in the middle of the night, just waiting for Paul. So I thought we get back now so we can see him. And as you saw, Louis didn't really wash himself off, I think, because he went in there so soon after we got to the park all this mud dried out and the river didn't wash him off so i have to wash him off now when i get home not happy so
so here is my new rug you probably have seen it before because I had one here exactly the same when we first put those floors down but it was size smaller so um, and I put that one in my bedroom and then I had here one of those fluffy ones um, with the really deep pile and I told you that I'm not that keen on them they look beautiful but once you walk on on them if you are in a high traffic area the fibers get really flattened and matted and stuck so I got this one and here is a Louis new blanket <laughs> it's a faux rabbit blanket it's so beautiful it's so soft this is the other side of it I got it in the range they do them in different colors but Louis absolutely loves it as soon as I brought it home he was straight on it oh and just in case you haven't seen this before I bought this Ottoman I think on eBay it's really really well made and very steady and I use it for Louis toys because Louis has a lot of toys <laughs> um, I will leave you the link if, if it's still there but I love this Ottoman it just looks a bit tidier you know than any old plastic bucket for his toys um, I can always just put them in there and it's nice and tidy and in here is his box with bones that's not so pretty but he has these bones that he gets and he eats all the meat off of them and then we store them here and when he wants he goes and picks picks himself one and just chews on it hello my lovelies i have to say something first <laughs> so because there are some of you they will notice even a tiny thing on me and point it out so i'm recording this portion of the vlog at the end of the week but I'm going to insert it here because of the title and when you're watching I don't want you to be waiting for the bread thing so that's why my nails at the beginning are different and now they're different and at the end they will be different so because I did my nails yesterday so this is end of the week but I'm inserting this clip in the middle of the video <laughs> does that make sense anyway it's a gym day today but I have to tell you about this bread of course so we've talked last um, week about me trying to cut out all the simple carbs like bread that I love potatoes pasta rice and everything like that and I've been doing really well apart from like I told you eating four bread rolls one day Anyway, I was looking on Amazon at keto things, you know, and I found there is a lot of keto bread. So a lot of you told me, uh, you know, have you heard about keto bread that you can make yourself? Yes, I've made them before because I toyed with the keto diet before, probably lasted a week. Um, and I've made those breads and they are fine but to me they are too eggy they don't really taste like bread they taste more like pancakes so that never was substitute for bread for me I hope I'm not too dark I've got no lights on just natural light anyway I found these two breads and oh my god so they are not so much keto I wouldn't say because I think when people talk about keto they don't have any wheat, any wheat flour. It all comes from different flours. These two still have wheat in them, but the carb count is so low. So they are basically very low carb breads. So for example, my son eats this disgusting thing, which is just a, you know, processed white soft bread. And this has 17.9 carbs per slice. And I think on keto diet, you only allow 20 grams of net carbs. 
Um, by the way, I am not on a keto diet as such. I'm just trying to lower my carb intake. That's all. Um, so yeah, this one has 17.9 grams per slice. Now, I found this protein bread. And it's very high in protein. It has 11 grams of protein per slice. And this one, oh, I won't be able to see. This one has 3.8 grams of carbs per slice. So that is very low. And this tastes like the German rye bread, which I adore. The slices are quite thin, but it's just beautiful. So I thought when I really, really want bread, I can have just a slice of that. Then I found this. Seriously low carb loaf. Again, this has almost no carbs. I don't know how. One gram of carbs per slice. One gram. So this bread is sort of seeded, but can you see it's like really see-through and very fluffy and bendy, but it tastes like normal bread. So I was so happy. I bought loads of these now they are expensive of course they're not going to cost you like what normal bread is i think it's three pounds per loaf or something um they do sales with this one you can order it from their own website but they still send it through amazon so the good thing about going to the website is that they have like promotions now and again. Paul just bought loads because there was 30% off and you can freeze it because I want to get Paul on it as well. So, uh, but all these breads still have, I think, wheat in them and gluten. By the way, a lot of you told me I should start, try gluten, uh, gluten-free stuff and I have done um, and it's fine, but gluten doesn't gluten free doesn't mean low carb uh, gluten is a mixture of different proteins but um, i'm interested in going low carb i'm not allergic to gluten i know that gluten can can add to bloatiness and sluggishness um, but i think there is a minimal amount of it here so yeah it's got wheat gluten in here in this bread but in this one Oh, okay. So this one I don't think has wheat, wheat uh, flour in here. It's got wheat protein, whole rye flour. I'm talking about this one. Linseed, soy flour, wheat bran, yeast, whey powder, rye flour. So yeah. I've noticed also that protein, I've bought before protein bars, which were keto bars, to have before the gym. And oh my God, they bloated me, but it's a different bloat, gassy, you know, the one that makes you fart, <laughs> um, windy bloat. So I couldn't have those. And I've noticed that this bread if I just have a one slice, I'm fine, but the other day I had two or three slices of it because it was so nice and I felt less guilty um, and it made me a bit gassy. So high protein, things like that can make you gassy, but it's not the same bloat. Do you know what I mean? Like if I eat a lot of vegetables, they will bloat me, but it's a gassy bloat, the one that doesn't feel so uncomfortable you know it's gonna go whereas the the carb overload bloat is like real heaviness and sluggishness i hope i'm explaining myself so again i am not on keto diet i'm just trying to cut my carbs and this made me so so happy because you know bread is like my everything and at least when i really really fancy a slice I've got some option of really low low carb. I mean, this is one gram and the normal bread is 17.9. That's a huge difference. And then this one was what, three something? Oh yes, this one was one gram. 
and this one was 3.8 still very low so I thought I'd share it with you just in case you know you're not necessarily on a diet but you want to cut your carbs a bit maybe that would be a good option for you oh by the way I was supposed to have my hair done this week and uh, my hairdresser is not well so now I'm having it done next week and I can't bear it you, you see it's at that stage that I can't do nothing with it it just goes flat when my roots get to that size so I just have to put it up or stick a wig on it right I better go <laughs> um enjoy the rest of the video now good morning so look what I've been doing I've put some flowers on my twigs like I always do because it's spring now so you might remember I bought on Amazon they are like long garlands of what is it cherry blossom and I just cut the flowers off I wrapped little floristry wire around each one and I just attached them to my twigs there is something not very symmetrical I think I need one here Hmm. you know me and symmetry but also when I, do you remember last week I told you when Paul and Max went away for the day I was clearing out my cupboards and I found two vases round like fishbowl vases in there and I thought hmm let's do something with it so I made and I found this um little stones I had in a bag and I have you know I have plenty of artificial flowers and these are like artificial succulents so I just made that in a fishbowl and then uh, do you remember when I was making I have a couple of little vases with artificial peonies I, I've made those for myself and I promised my mother-in-law that I will make her one and it's her birthday coming up I'm actually making birthday dinner for her this weekend and I thought I will also make her this one. So I found this vase and I thought I will make her this arrangement. But I don't know if you can see this line here and there is line here. So what I did, because it's such a round ball, it was very difficult to um, do that floristry form because of the shape you had to cut out a really small piece to fit inside but then it was too small inside and it was moving about because of the shape of the bowl so what I did which I did with one of my other ones I used um, I've got this epoxy resin it's two liquids which you mix and they are clear and um, you mix them together and you pour it in a vase arrange the flowers and you set but unfortunately because the resin gets quite warm while it's working it's like a chemical reaction and obviously expands a bit and it cracked this vase in so many places also down the bottom here there are actually looks like bits are gonna fall off so um, now I need to go somewhere I'm gonna go in a minute to a garden center and see if I can find uh, one like I have which is that square mirrored vase because I could easily use the foam in that so that's what I've been doing because I haven't been very creative this year yet I haven't been in a mood for doing anything but I really like this anyway let me put this away brows so I've been reading all your comments about the brows and I am so grateful to you all for sharing your experiences sorry I forever lose things where is it bear with me bear with me bear with what was I saying yes I'm so grateful because there were so many of you they've had microblading shading half and half done and majority huge majority i would say probably 95 98 percent were disappointed with it 
there were a few of you who really liked it but most of you didn't and regretted it so that really helped me make my mind up I think it all depends as well on your skin type I've come to this conclusion because people were telling me that some of these would fade to funny orange color, some would say to green color. And I was thinking, I wonder if this is something to do with your individual pH of your skin, you know? You know, like you have those lipsticks that are clear, but you put it on your lips and the color comes out and it looks different on different people because it reacts with your own skin pH. So I thought that might be one factor. The other one apparently is if your skin is too oily, they won't last very long. If you spend a lot of time in the sun, they won't last long. Also, if you forever exfoliate, and I'm using retinol, which constantly exfoliates your skin, they would be probably gone in three months. So I'm not doing it. It's got something on my lip. Oh, by the way, this has been my favorite lipstick combo for ages now. When I wear peachy or brown um, eyeshadow, this is the BK Beauty Warm Spice lip liner and I fill my lip with it and then I top it off with the BK Beauty Kindness lipstick and I really really love this color. Right back to brows. So so then someone told me in the comments that they use these microblading pens from NYX and they're amazing. So I've had loads of these and I could never get on with them. I did my brows with this today, so I don't have pencil whatsoever. I just use these and the Benefit 24 hour gel afterwards. And you know what? They are not too bad. They are not perfect. It is very difficult to explain to you my brows. Hold on, let me show you. Right, so I wish my one of my brows wasn't done. So the front of my brow, what you see here, is how it is. Then from about here, I need something more pointy. From about here, my brow goes up and is very thin. It's, um, it's a half of what you see now. So for me, it's not a question of filling the brows because what I have is lovely and thick there is no gaps in it apart from the tail of my brow the tails are not so good but here my brow is thick enough no gaps it's just it's very thin so i basically what i normally do i draw a line with a pencil lower and then i fill it that gap between my brow and that line and it doesn't look very natural, but you know, with putting a lot of that um, gel on, it sort of makes it look natural, but sometimes you can see gaps. So today I've got two colors. I have top, which is lighter, and I use that at the front a bit. And then I think it's ash brown, ash brown. And the ash brown towards the end. But you have to have such a steady hand. I had my elbow on the on my vanity but still try to draw these strokes that don't go below this line like try to make a line with strokes not a solid line it was a nightmare but i think they actually don't look too bad what do you think i mean the tails are a bit but they look more natural i suppose i mean no one's eyebrows are perfect yes so I'm quite happy with this and I think if I practice it might look better and better you know if you're not used to doing this every day of course it's not gonna look that good but I think for first attempt it's not too bad and you have to be very you have to just barely touch it and depends which way you hold the pen because you, you might make the strokes thicker you want them very thin it's it's a nightmare it is. Then someone said to me, what about these 
powder stamps. And I remember that I have bought powder stamp from Amazon. It's this one. You will see them all over Amazon. So if you see the, this looks like a piece of newspaper, the label, because I reckon there is millions of them and they all look the same. They just have different, different labels. So I reckon they are made somewhere in China um, different companies buy them, slap on their own label on it and sell it as something different. So whenever you see it in that black tube, they, I reckon they're all the same. You get loads and loads of stencil with this one. So this is one that I bought ages ago. You've got millions of stencils with different shapes and I found in here two that are quite like my brows. One is called Classic, one is called Queen. These are very similar. You see they have quite an arched arch. So, and I've tried it and I tell you, it was so quick and it looked okay. The only problem is that these come only like in two colors, like a light brown and dark brown or medium brown. So I chose the lightest one, but it's very dark. Now, this is very important if you're going to buy it because I've read reviews and people going, it's useless, it's dry on me. I only done my brows once and now it doesn't work. What people don't understand, so this is the little sponge. You would put the stencil to your brow and just stamp it. What people don't understand that this, to get the powder out, you have to pump it. So when you unscrew it, have it just like that and pump it. And that's how the powder comes out. So this would be good if the color was right. So anyway, because of, sorry, I don't remember your name. Whoever told me, reminded me about this stamp. I went on Amazon and looked again and I thought maybe I'll find something better. And I found this one, Mad Love, and that had amazing reviews and was expensive because the other one is like, I don't know, five pounds or something. It's very inexpensive. But this one was 37 pounds. And I thought, well, let me try it. So in here you get the powder. Looks the same. And you pump it as well, like this. So remember this pumping because otherwise that happened to me first time. When I bought this ages ago, I did it once and then it wouldn't work. And by mistake, because it doesn't say anywhere on, the, on Amazon that you should do that, I found that this was sort of springy and pumping, so that's why I did. And here you've got the stencils. So I've got extra stencils, less stencils than you need the other one. Anyway. This was good because he had about seven different colors. I think I chose taupe. So it was like the second one from Blonde. Oh, was it taupe or was it cool something? Taupe. Let's have a look. Oh yes, this will be good. It's a cool color. Brilliant. What about this one? Yeah, you see how dark this one is. And I know on the hand, it might not look dark, but on your eyebrows. My eyebrows are quite dark, but... And they're supposed to be like sweat proof and stay on all day. So I haven't tried this one. So what I'm going to do... Oh, and you go guess pulley. So what I'm going to do is practice this. And when I've mastered it, or maybe I just come and do it without trying it. It'd be more funny, won't it? <laughs> but if this works, if I was you, I would still order that one. If you're gonna spend 37 pounds on that one, spend extra fiver because this one's got so many more stencils. Um, so you will get a better chance of finding one that fits the shape of your brows. So yes, that's the, the brow saga continues. Oh. And the reviews on this one were almost five stars, whereas on the other one was hit and miss. 
so let's see how I get on with that okay I'm gonna go I'm going to go to garden center try to find the vase and I have to go to Amazon Locker. I've got something to return. I bought a book. I know I have a Kindle, but there are certain books, especially um, like economy, political books that I like to have a physical book so I can go back to it. And, you know, with Kindle, I sometimes feel, I know you can make notes on it or take notes or something. Um, but I have so many books on my Kindle, there's no way I find it again. But with a physical book, you know, if I want to go back and reference something, I can do that. So anyway, I ordered this book um, and yesterday two of them arrived and I thought it was a mistake. But then I looked back on my orders and I ordered one one day and I ordered the same one the next day. Um, so yeah, and I wouldn't normally bother, I could have gifted this book to someone, although I don't know who would want it, um, but it was £15, so I'm not going to keep two books that are £15, so I'm going to send it back. Right, I will see you later. <laughs>